Hi, I'm Dr. Kiki Sanford, and today on Food Science, we are talking about fermentation. Strictly speaking, fermentation is an energy-producing process that does not require oxygen to take place. It's anaerobic in nature. Bacteria, yeast, and even human cells use fermentation to create energy in the form of ATP from sugar. Some organisms, like the bacteria that can get into canned food and cause botulism, or that lives in rust and can cause tetanus, will die if they're exposed to oxygen. They rely on fermentation for all their energy. Others use oxygen but can switch to fermentation if the environment demands it. Still others don't really care one way or another. So, to break it down, wah! Cells take the simple sugar glucose and split it into a compound called pyruvate through a process called glycolysis. Then, depending on the organism, the pyruvate can go down one of two different fermentation pathways. In human muscle cells and in the bacteria that help us make yogurt, pyruvate gets converted into lactate. You might call it lactic acid. Thank you, little bacteria. <laughs> Yum! The other pathway is used by single-celled organisms to convert the pyruvate into carbon dioxide and alcohol something animals have been taking advantage of for a long time. Eat the little berries, get a little junk. I'm a little birdie and I'm gonna land in a trunk. Humans have harnessed the fermenting power of Saccharomyces cerevisiae, a type of yeast for bread making. The yeast ferments the sugar added to the dough, creating carbon dioxide, which makes the bread rise by creating lots and lots of bubbles. The gas is forced out of the bread, but the spaces left behind by the air bubbles give us that fluffy, porous final product. We can take advantage of yeast's sugar addiction for more kitchen fun. 